Hello students, in this video we'll discuss arrows. An arrow is a directed line segment. So what we'll do is we'll consider two points. Consider two points A and B in three-dimensional space. And what we'll do with these points is we'll plot them in three-dimensional space. So we can imagine our three-dimensional Euclidean space. Here's my point A. Here's my point B. And all an arrow is is a line segment that goes from a point A to a point B. So A is called the starting point or the initial point. Initial point. And B is called the terminal point. So we start at the initial point and we go to the terminal point. And we'll denote our arrow, denote the arrow as A, B. Now arrows come from points. And so if the point A was X, A, Y, a, Z, A, and the point B was X, B, Y, B, Z, B, then the magnitude of this vector, this arrow, magnitude, we'll talk about vectors after we talk about arrows, of A, B, or its length is the square root of x b minus x a squared plus y b minus y a squared plus z b minus z a squared. That is the length. We can also define direction angles. An arrow has direction angles alpha, beta, and gamma defined by the relationship defined by the relationship that the cosine of alpha is x B minus x a over, we'll call this magnitude of a b. Let's make up some notation for this. We'll call this double arrow a b for the magnitude of the arrow. We'll divide the difference of x b and x a by the magnitude of the arrow to find the cosine of beta. We'll look at the difference y b minus y a over the magnitude of the arrow. And finally, the cosine of gamma is equal to zb minus za over the length or the magnitude of the arrow ab. And so we will say that two arrows ab and CD are equivalent if they have the same magnitude, they have the same and direction. Roughly what this means is it means that if you have two arrows, here's A and here's B, if I draw 
another arrow from two points CD that has the same length and same direction with respect to each of the coordinate axes, then those two arrows will be called equivalent. Very similar to when we think about fractions, when we think of saying something like one half is the same thing as two fourths. So both of these are different in terms of what their numerator and denominators are, but those are equivalent in the sense that the fraction they represent is the same. Thank you very much.